once you reach that pH level that you're looking for, I find it to be a very good practice to pull off the lactic acid bacteria from the bottom of the kettle. There won't be much. It tends not to drop out uh, super well. You can save that and reuse it, um, which is what a lot of breweries will do. Uh, we tend not to do that just because we don't brew them enough, uh, but it's absolutely a practice that I would suggest and recommend um, for repitching. And those, those bacteria tend to do well over multiple generations um, and get healthier and more vigorous and you can kind of develop the character that you like. But we mostly also do that to avoid scorching on the kettle, uh, especially if you have a, a gas-fired kettle, which I assume most home brewers do have. I'd recommend pulling out probably, you'll, you should watch it go down the drain, but make sure you're running out any of that, that lactic acid bacteria that's collected on the bottom of the kettle. I've heard horror stories of people doing everything right in the process. Uh, the beer tasted great in the kettle. They hit their perfect acidity, no off flavors, turn on their kettle to kill the lacto, and then they taste the beer in the fermenter and it tastes like burnt rubber tires because that lacto that had settled out to the bottom scorched with the heat of the burner um, and it ruined the beer. So. Our recommendation is to drop out the bottom of the kettle to make sure that nothing's settling on the bottom. Um, luckily, we have a steam jacketed kettle, but especially for anyone with a gas fired burner, that's gonna help prevent that scorching of the bacteria, which does not taste good. To learn more about kettle souring, please click the link below.